Got the Accord brought in. Got the puller set up, chained down. I'm gonna try and pull this pillar out a bit. There's the donor. There's the donor door. Okay, we'll try it again with the car chained down. Okay, so we got the door off. Here's the donor. So we need to remove this outer skin, more than likely the inner skin is uh, damaged as well. We're going to start by grinding off all these spot welds up to where we need, need to cut. What you want to do is uh, find a spot that you want to cut where you can find the exact same spot on the other one. So in this case here, she's wrinkled all the way up to here, so you're probably going to want to cut it about here. And then on your inner layer, you're going to want to cut it here. You don't want the joints to be in the same spot. Uh, same thing probably around here. I'll figure out where I need to cut. I'm not sure yet. Um, bought this tool today. Apparently it's good for grinding spot welds. We'll see. But I'll probably end up using uh, one 8 drill bit and these spot weld cutters. It's quicker but expensive. Okay, so I've started to remove uh, some of the welds using that new tool, the grinder I got. It's all right, um, but it takes off a lot of material more than you need to. I uh, made a cut through here to the rocker, started the cut here, and I removed all the caulking to expose the spot welds. You see spot welds there. Uh, right here, uh, my donor is a bit short, so I'm going to have to repair all of this. And then... Uh, once I get my donor metal removed, I'll install it with this one taken off. The new one will overlap to about here. Then I'll scribe a line, remove it, cut it, take this part off, and now I'll have a nice butt weld. And I'll likely add some of this material on the inside to have a nice overlap. So there'll be lots of material welded on there. Okay, so I've basically cut it all off, grinded off all the welds. Cut through here, peeled it all back, and then basically all you do now is you pull it. There's some glue holding it from behind, right there. As you can see, there's a good kink right here. So this is going to have to be uh, removed, undoing these spot welds all along here, probably to about, uh, about here. Got to keep in mind that you want to keep this in the original spot. And so I'll cut through this spot weld and around uh, this panel here. And then I'll reinstall the outer panel, which I need to remove and then start test fitting the door. Okay, we're back again and I uh, got the uh, inner structure all cut up and removed. So I cut through there, undid all the spot welds, spot welds, and basically just so now what you need to do is go around and clean up all these spot welds for the new piece. There is a, a nice little kink here which will have to be pulled out and straightened before I put more stuff on. There you go. Now we take off the good stuff. Okay, so we got the panel off and uh, what I've done is I've cut it away from the old piece 
I've given myself something to go off of. So then you would put that there, slide that in place. Basically now what you do is you scribe on your new panel so you have a perfect nice butt welded fit. Okay, we're back on the Honda Accord. And we're gonna uh, show you what we did. So we removed the inner structure, which is this piece, came off of there. And then this inner structure piece will end up fitting in here, like that. So that's how that'll fit. Now, if you can see here, this is in. So that means I gotta go in behind or from in here and pull out so that it meets before I weld anything up. Then this would be the outer skin, which will go on there like that. Then I will need to cut it here and then butt weld it in and then away you go. Okay, we got the uh, inner structure just tack welded in and the door is sitting pretty good. Opens and closes nice. Maybe some finer adjustments, but the gap's looking good. Now we'll remove the door and install the outer uh, piece, weld all that up, and paint it, and then install the doors.